This is the video on solving addition and subtraction equations, and it goes along with the homework assignment for practice 4-2. The main question I asked the students today was, how can I get the variable alone in the equation? If there was an algebraic expression that looked like this with a variable and an operation, what we have focused on is we want to get the variable all by itself, which we need, means we need to get rid of everything else on that side of the equation. So the way we worked on that and introduced that today with the children is we brought about the uh, inverse relationship. Inverse relationships are operations that undo each other. For example, addition and subtraction are inverse relationships. So if we go back to our algebraic expression of x plus 7 equals 25, what we would do is do the inverse operation. Instead of adding 7, we would subtract 7. That would leave us alone with our variable. But from the proper property of equality that we worked on yesterday, we remembered that if we take 7 away from one side, we also have to do it to the other side. And so that would get us our final answer. Now in the book, it does the same thing, but it writes it horizontally. So it would look something like this. So then we would have x plus 7 minus 7 is the same as 25 minus 7. And as you can see, it's exactly the same thing that we just did. It's just written out horizontally where we, I prefer to write it vertically. This is just a way that I learned, and I think it's easier for the children to recognize what they're doing. Um, but I'm all right with either way. But just some of the problems you see will be written out as this. But again, you would get the same answer. So I'm okay with either way. It's just that this would be my personal preference. But either way will work. So here are some examples that we went through today in class. Uh, number one is 25 plus m is equal to 49. Again, we want to get the variable by itself, so we do the inverse operation. Instead of adding 25, we're going to subtract 25. That will leave us alone with our variable. But of course, if we do it to one side, we have to do it to the other. Number two is t minus 40 and 5 tenths is equal to 3 and 7 tenths. We want to get the variable by itself, so we do the inverse operation. The inverse operation for subtraction would be addition. So we're going to add 40 and 5 tenths. But if we do it to one side, we need to do it to the other side. That didn't line up very well, but 7 tenths and 5 tenths would give us 12 tenths. 1 and 3 would give us 4 and 4. Okay. Number 3, 12 is equal to x minus 11. Instead of at, subtracting 11, we're going to add 11. But if we do it for one side, we have to do it for the other. Up here, instead of adding 13 and 3 tenths, we're going to subtract 13 and 3 tenths. But then we also have to, of course, do it to the other side as well. And the last one, instead of subtracting 12, we're going to add 12. But if we do it for one, we have to do it for the other. And for our story problems, one thing they're asking us to do is to draw pictures. This gives the children a visual so they understand what exactly they're doing, and it does tend to help. Um, for example, every two weeks, Manny mows a total of 43 lawns in his neighborhood. Now he has 27 lawns left to mow this time. Draw a picture and solve for how many lawns Manny has already mowed. Well, the hard part to me was learning the pictures. Uh, the format they do looks like a big rectangle. The total amount goes up here at the top, and in this case, the total amount is 43 lawns. And we're breaking that up into what we know, that he has 27 left to mow. 
and what we don't know, which is how many he's already mowed. Now we could turn this into an equation, which could look like this. x plus 27 is equal to 43. Follow through on getting the variable by itself. So you could say Manny has 16 lawns left. Oh, has 16 lawns he has already mowed. Excuse me, I went off the screen there. Story problem number two, Lila would like to take a ceramics class. The class costs $120. She has saved $80 so far. Draw a picture to solve to find out how much more money Lila needs. Well, again, we would draw a rectangle. Up here is our total amount. In this case, we need $120. We divide this into however many pieces we need. In this case, we only need two because she has 80 so far. What we don't know is how much more she needs. So we could write this out as x plus 80 would get us to our total of 120. Get the variable by itself by following through the inverse operation. Property of equality says we need to do it to both sides. So. Lila needs $40. I hope this helps, and if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Thank you.